One of my favorite composers of all time is Jerry Goldsmith. I think he was a, a master at his craft and wrote so many famous scores, so many effective scores. And one of those scores, I think, is the music from Patton, uh, acted by the great George C. Scott. And my favorite scene from this movie is when Patton pulls off the side of the road with his second in command as two-star General Bradley, and he finds this battlefield. And here we have Jerry Goldsmith connecting with uh, General Patton's idea of reincarnation that he believed firmly in as a general throughout World War II. And these beautiful trumpets that he has in the background calling with his fanfare, uh, echoing with what is actually uh, a technique that he used, a, a synthetic vehicle called Echoplex, which is something that recorded a small little burst of music and then recorded it as a loop. And this famous fanfare from Patton is what helped to kind of create this idea that Patton was always thinking about reincarnation throughout his battles during World War II. And that mixed with the great sounds of the, the low and ethereal alto flutes and small percussive elements in this scene really do bring out the tragedy and the mystery behind how Patton believes he was there on those battlefields 2,000 years ago. So Jerry Goldsmith really mastered that scene and I, I do believe that that is one of the great music scores ever composed and one of the most poignant scenes from that film because of Jerry's masterful music. I was here. You don't believe me, do you, Brad? You know what the poet said. Through the travail of ages, midst the pomp and toils of war, have I fought and strove and perished countless times upon the star. as if through a glass and darkly the age-old strife I see where I fought in many guises, many names but always me you know who the poet was? me